All right, action. Working the Dutch wear hammock with the net that's attached to it. And I finally got to adding a little more ridge line. I'm not sure how much longer you can make the ridge before the zipper works right or doesn't work. But I've never been able to get the hang right in this hammock. And I said, most of my hammocks, whoa, whoa. I always need to add a uh, ridge line. <laughs> a little slick out here. And, uh... I said I got this soft shackle laying around. At one point I actually hung some hammocks from these soft shackles until I fell off. <laughs> I guess it wasn't in there good enough. But you know, I just linked some of this line so I can adjust it back to where Dutchware had it. Or I could get a little longer piece of line. I could use a button link or just a toggle too to make it adjustable. Some people have that string hangs in your face, that whoopee sling. I can also like button a little stuff sack in there to hang off. You know, I'm almost these days think I'm putting the stuff sack on the ridge line, leaving it there, just stuff the whole hammock in there. Because otherwise, you stuff the hammock. I like those double ended ones though. I got, anyway, I got the Daisy May working with it. Got the Big Agnes in the Thermo Rest pad. I know normally you just have a quilt system. I've tried it all, everything I have. It was time to cut the cord on this one. Oh yeah. Surprisingly, this isn't too bad with this wider pad. Better than I remember it. I'm in the, what they call it, the Dutch half zipped or what it is. Uh, just bug net hammock. And I just haven't been able to get it right. I think I've got to add a little bit to the ridge line. Make it a little longer for the pad. And even in bottom quilt, I still can't get the bottom quilt. I've, trust me, I've tried it the way it's supposed to work. This genius here. But, you know, that's hammocks, though. Maybe one thing's perfect for somebody and it sucks for somebody else. But, you know, it might be a little stretchy. I might be a little heavy for it. I don't know. Super lightweight, though, hammock. It's only like 13 ounces with the bug net and everything. So, it's that cloud fabric. It feels pretty strong, too. I just got to get it down, you know. All right, action. Lights. <laughs> Play around with some hammocks. I've had the Big Agnes Daisy May a couple days. I've been trying, uh, trying to get it out here and just keep it safe and see what it's like. This is the system with the integrated pad sleeve. People see me using these hammocks. Like for underquilt people, the hammock ends up a lot like straighter. You don't have that banana sag that you do when you just only have a bottom quilt. The, I feel like the pad likes it a lot straighter. Maybe, ah, oh, bad on your hammock. You can't have a blah, blah, blah. I've never really had one break now. Uh, or, you know, like once in a while after like a thousand hangs, I take a subset six Eno and see a little stretch marks where it gets the most stretch out of it. But the only thing I've ever had is I had the Wilderness Innovation Super Light Poncho Hammock. And I asked him, I was like, is this too light? It says 150 pounds, you sure? He's like, no, no, that's just a misprint. And it ended up getting the stitches pulled at the very end. Because I don't think it had the triple stitches or anything in my app. But, and he's like, I called him back. He's like, I left a note to him and everything. I was like, super nice guy, Perry Wilderness Innovation. But I just bad communication or something. I was like, hey, send this back. I could still use it as a poncho. I never saw it. It called them like, oh, yeah, we had to throw that thing away and put a disclaimer about how you're supposed to hang in it and everything. Okay. So, but I just get that a lot. And I'd never really, now, do they get a little like this if you're using a super light, super small six ounce hammock? Yeah. You gotta be careful. But I never. I never had a problem with the hammock being a little tighter and it makes like a flat bed and here we got an example of how you've got this really uh, winter type of pad. It's good. I've tested it down to about 20. It's a little chilly, don't get me wrong there. But you know, in general I feel like with a good insulated pad, a good sleeping bag on top or quilt or whatever, you're good to maybe uh, between 25 and 30 Fahrenheit comfortable you know and you start getting cold backbone and button whatever else you got to wrap a 
a bottom quilter on it to supplement it or change your setup but so it really kind of takes away from me and you know, I can use the pad any place I want throw it on the snow if I want whatever and I'm good I have got something to sleep on if I'm on the train or visiting somebody I have a bed but different strokes for different folks I find this is really nice to keep my back pretty straight but I also find that the smaller hammock is better with it almost so you you can take a lot lighter weight hammock although not much gets lighter than this cloud thing from Dutchware uh, which if you're using it and it's full sag setup and you know you got a net and the full sag and everything for like you know I mean the 13 ounces I just haven't been able to kind of tune the hammock and I oh well where I started adjusting the ridge line um, I've added quite a bit and I, I find that I do that to a lot of my hammocks whether I'm on a pad or not I end up with a longer ridge line I think most normal people would be up here with the ridge you know it'd be like 10 inches shorter but that's just different strokes for different folks got a good use of this soft shackle I was using them for a while for uh yeah, I, I'd actually hang the hammock from them for about a year and <laughs> Then one day one let go. I guess I didn't have the little thingy up far enough on the soft shackle. Boom! I hit the ground. I'm like, it's still good. Real good for stuff like this. Because I can kind of tune this hammock and, you know, play around with a few little. And then I got things I can hook my little bag into and it doesn't slide. Put your phone or your radio or whatever in there. Your false teeth. Oh, yeah. It's about freezing right now. A little above. So, yeah, pretty good.